today, I spent 25,000 Robux on 10,000 Clovers, and I'm gonna be buying 1,000 St. Patrick's Day 2024 crates. And then I am going to open them all and see what we can get. But before we get into that, like and subscribe, or else you're gonna get the camera woman from the St. Patrick's Day crates. How is that possible? I don't even know, but you should like and subscribe. Anyways, it is time to press the buy button and yes for like a few minutes. Okay, I have bought all 1,000. Right now, my inventory is full of them, 1,146 out of 2,000. And there are only two units you can get in this crate. One of them is 0.1%. It is the Titan Clover Man, and there's also the Lucky Speaker Man, which is actually not lucky because he's 99.9%. But statistically, because I have 1,000 crates, 0.1%, I should get one of them, hopefully. So let's see if we can get lucky enough. I'm going to start out by opening 10 because we have a lot to open. So, of course, that is all just Lucky Speaker Man. I did not get lucky. Now let's try opening 20, 30, and 40, maybe, maybe even 50, maybe even 50. We're gonna go crazy. We just need one of them to not open instantly and be a lucky speaker man. Because, like, if it's the Titan, it's gonna slowly become larger than that and take a little longer to open. So I'm just gonna open a lot more. Let's walk around this entire spawn area, just opening 10. Yep, it looks like all just lucky speaker men. All just lucky speaker men. What do you mean that? there's not enough space here. I told Evan that if there's not enough space, it should just go to the place where there is space. Like, why can it say nuh -uh whenever you try opening a crate? Like, that's kind of dumb. Anyways, no Titan in sight. We need the Titan Clover, man. I'm gonna keep opening 10 more. Alright, another 30, and nope, all of them opened. It's just Lucky Speaker, man. You should have, like, a zoom out button in the inventory. Alright, I opened another 30. Nothing crazy is going on. Another 40 and still nothing crazy is going on. Bro, where is the guy? Where is the guy? Am I even gonna get him? Am I gonna be lucky enough? All right, all of these 40 more, still no Titan. The odds are not looking good right now. The odds are looking pretty bad. 10, 20, no Titan still, another 10. All right, I just opened 50. I opened 50 and nope, still no Titan. All right, I opened another 50. First 30 are not the Titan 40 and yep, all 50 are not lucky either. Can we get all a thousand of the same unit for the whole video? Let's find out. Let's find out. Still none of them are becoming big. Still none of them are becoming big. Every opening 10 times is literally just a 1% chance that I actually get it. All right, 10 not it, 10 not it, and another 10 are not it. Everyone say Skibbity Sigma in the comments right now to give me extra luck. All right, let's see if that worked. Let's see if that worked. Last 10, no. Nope. All right, another four. 40, all of them still lucky speaker men. Another 50, and all of them except, okay, nope, that one's all lucky speaker men too. Another 40, all of them still not titans either. We only have around like 400 of these crates left, by the way. So we're already six tenths done opening them. And out of those, 40 also, yeah, all lucky speaker men. Another 30 lucky speaker men. Wait, oh, no, okay. That one was taking a little extra time to open. It, I, I thought it might be different, but no. Okay, 40 more. 40 more. And all lucky speaker men again. I literally only have like 200 or 300 crates right now, and I'm just gonna go evil mode with them. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so many crates around me, I can barely see them through all the lucky speaker men on my screen, but nope. All of them still lucky speaker men. I think I only have 200 left now for sure. Wait, I just realized something. I have just realized something. So, I I'm adding this after editing the video, but if we go over to the crates, like, you know how most of them have normal names, like the Halloween one was Scary Crate, the Christmas one was Santa Crate, the St. Patrick's Day Crate is supposed to be named the Lucky Crate. It's supposed to be named the Lucky Crate. I don't know how I didn't catch this when I was opening them, but it's called the St. Patrick's Day 2024 Crate. Told the evidence the Lucky Crate. Why is it named that? Anyways, there are a ton of other bugs to fix. Um, I'll tell him that later after he fixes all the important bugs, because, like, there are a lot of bugs with endless mode and like things stacking that are not supposed to and just weird stuff like that. We also need to finish the Easter event, so we've got a lot to do. Oh wait, yeah, this is the end. This is the end. This is, this is the end of them. That's like my
my... I only have four left, but those were people that gifted me them. All right, let's open the last four. And nope, does not look like I got anything good. Does not look like I got the rare guy. All right, well, I was not lucky. I still have the one. Well, actually, I, I traded for another one. They gave my friend back that let me borrow his it back. But yeah, right now, only 3,700 of these guys exist at the end of the event. Probably around like 10 to 20,000 will exist. It's only a mythic, not a godly, because the Easter event is gonna have a godly. Maybe I could have made it like 0.5%, but it is too late for that one. And the Leprechaun Cameraman already has 75k that exists. That's more than I thought, because that's the price of like 10 of these crates. But, anyways, now I kind of just have a thousand lucky speakermen in my inventory. Um, I'm gonna go to the trading plaza and I'm gonna figure something out. Okay, let's check how much there's selling for in the marketplace so the valentine's day 2024 crate selling for 200 gems but yeah this crate is selling for 90 gems at least that's the lowest price in the server so even if we sold it as low as like 50 if we sold a thousand of them that'd be 50,000 gems so that's kind of a lot i don't know if it sells for a lot less than other servers but anyways let's find the lucky i'm gonna sell them for like five <laughs> selling lucky speaker man for five diamond let's see if anyone wants it oh wait why is it not sorted by price <laughs> why is it not sorted by price hey we're selling them i'm not sitting here and doing that for all a thousand for all a thousand i have a different plan i'm gonna trade this guy because like kind of looks like me and i'm just gonna give him like a thousand lucky speaker men hi you want a lucky speaker man all right i'm gonna give him like i don't know how many i have selected right now he said bro how all right that is a lot of lucky speaker why is my large heart speaker man just mixed in with these guys? I'm, I'm giving this guy another like few hundred. He's really surprised right now. I finally reached the end of the lucky speaker man. I'm gonna ready again. There we go. Wait, why do I have two now? You know what? You know what? Um, nah. -uh. Now I only have one. Let's go. Statistically, it was an 100% chance when I opened a thousand of them, but in reality, each was like 0.1%. So I just happened to get unlucky and didn't get one. Now, if I bought more and I could possibly get more because sometimes I've done things like this and gotten a few of the very rare things. But like I said earlier, there are still some bugs Evan needs to fix and the next update is going to be the Easter event so we're working on that and also whatever is in the next activity toilet episode because one's probably going to come out. It's been almost two weeks. Also, I'm still having people ask me about what I'm going to do about alts on the endless leaderboard. While it is not breaking any rules, I do agree and think it would be more fair if it was a lot harder for alts but I'm not going to ban people just for having an alt on the leaderboard. So my solution to this problem is adding endless ranks. I've said this before, but since people keep asking me, I guess some people don't know about this. Basically, when you play endless mode, you can earn XP and rank up. And then when you rank up, you get special boosts. Like for example, plus one slot on endless mode. So then you can play 16 units max instead of 15. And when you rank up more, you can unlock even more placement slots and other things like plus 5% money on on endless mode like per toilet plus 10 percent and they're not gonna be super easy to rank up it would pretty much be impossible to have alts on the leaderboard i've had some confusion by ranks i don't mean like ranks like what number you are on the leaderboard i mean like the level way so essentially like level one you get more xp then you go to level two and unlock more things and it makes sense to be hard to rank up because it's never gonna reset so like you'd have to grind for a long time to get the max rank but then it will allow you to be even stronger on endless mode that is gonna fix the alt situation a lot. Well, that's gonna be it for the video. So as always, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.